Aha, greetings! Time for another pod test. <clears throat> this one, uh, another one that's actually ripe, but this time it's out of my own garden. This is a Ring of Fire variety of cayenne. I got the seeds from David over on the Hot Pepper a couple years ago, and last year I'd already picked all the ones that I was going to be growing because I already had so many different kinds of seeds, so I just got around to it this year. It's been a mostly annuum kind of year. I didn't have as many chin ends, bacatum, or anything else. Uh, definitely a lot less chin ends than last year, just because I got a, just had a lot of them that I wanted to try. So I wanted to take it easy on super hots and so here's one of the fruits of their labor. Uh, just pop it off. Um, I'm, I have plenty of them. I'm not gonna bother taking seeds out. So ring of fire cayenne. Let's see how she be. Mmm. Um, well, if there's a sweat already and I'm getting hiccups a little bit, <gasps> it's not that hot. Just sometimes when I swallow, especially annuums that are in the, as far as the annu <gasps> annuum range, low to mid heat, <gasps> they tend to give me hiccups more often than the <gasps> habaneros and stuff like that. Tons of drool. kind of swells up on the top of my tongue, the burn, like a tide, and then kind of swoops underneath, and then pinches up on the underside of my tongue, and then does the reverse, comes up, and then pools up, and it's pretty hot though, i definitely say it's in the traditional cayenne range, leaning up towards 50,000 or so, 40, 50,000 ish. Um, so definitely uh, outside the comfort zone of people who say they just like it a little spicy, but definitely for a veteran chili head it's a little bit more manageable. Uh, doesn't take away from the sting, that's for sure. These annuums definitely got a bit of a bite to them. Seems to be, uh, it's always seemed to me more intense than the super hots in the, uh, the more of like it's more akin to a pain than a just a throbbing pulsing kind of burn um lips are got a good little crackling of embers um got a little knot in the throat of of throbbing uh it actually hit pretty strong in the throat I'm gonna feel it down into my stomach a little bit but yeah it's sitting well just continuing to even out and build inside my whole mouth, my whole tongue now. Roof of my mouth. Roof of my mouth. <clears throat> Got a little bit <clears throat> throbbing happening. Oh, lips are picking up just a pinch. That's not building a ton, but um, definitely feeling it. Uh, sweating, that's for sure. I, uh, uh, with the flavor, it was typical of uh, ripe annuums. It was aromatic, perfume-like, I guess, uh, but with a hint of cherry, uh, sweet, and actually pretty tart. And, yeah, the skin was medium thin, so it wasn't super thin peel like, say, a chin ends. Habaneros, I noticed, or uh, butchalokias, scorpions, have a really thin skin compared to most other kinds of peppers. Um, this one was pretty thin, especially for an annuum. Really easy to chew up. Would be pretty easy to dice up and 
break down nicely into a good soft texture if you cook with them. Um, but a very nice flavor overall and a kick or a heat. Definitely a good one. I'm glad I decided to grow these this year. This is really good. Um, and a really good mellow endorphin buzz happening with this. It's not um, freak out mode, but definitely got a nice little chill happening, which is always good after a day's work. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of moving towards the back of my tongue now, and a little bit down the middle of my tongue, prickling a little bit. Lips are coming forward more. Roof of the mouth is starting to be a little bit more noticeable. Yeah. Excuse my dog panting in the background. We've got like 80% humidity up here in Michigan right now. It's uh, sitting heavy on us, so he's having a rough time. He's half Border Collie, half Shepherd, so he's got that really wooly fur. Um, yeah. Lips got a good solid glow happening. Roof of the mouth starting to feel a little bit stronger of burn now that the tongue is subsiding. Still got a good knot in the throat and feel it heartburn like right in the middle of my chest, stomach. I can feel it a little bit but it's not sitting poorly at all. It's feeling, you know, just glowing but not really throbbing in the tummy which is a, that's one of the worst feelings when you get a really terrible, as I've heard them called, cap cramps. Um, yeah, that's no fun to get those really bad gut aches from too strong of peppers or spice. You know, nose is running now too, clearing out the sinuses. <coughs> so yeah, Ring of Fire Cayenne. Thanks again, David, if you ever watch this video, um, for sending me those seeds. Really cool variety. I'm definitely looking forward to overwintering this one too. It's a really good producer. When I film my video in two days here, uh, you, I'll show you guys how everything's been going with that. Do a little bit more. Um, thorough analysis like I've been doing with a 15 to 20 minute video and yeah so take it easy everybody thanks for watching and I'll see you with another one real soon I already have a couple more lined up so bye bye